Hey guys, I'm Adrienne Jeffries. Uh, I'm here with Dave Vondel, who is the co-founder of Central Standard Timing, the makers of this uh, very cool e-ink watch, the CST1. Um, hi Dave, thanks for coming to talk with us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, so tell me, where did the, uh, where did the idea for this, um, for this watch come from? Well, I've been, uh, I've been working on it for, I'll show it up. Uh, I've been working on the CST01 for about a year now, uh, and I've been, I worked a lot with e-ink um, on a lot of the other work that I do. I work at a design consulting firm called IDEO. And so I came across their technology, uh, which is this thin, flexible uh, e-ink display uh, that's segmented. And I was always drawn to it because because it's segmented, uh, you can it's super robust, super low power, and it's flexible. Uh, and what we, does that mean, segmented? Uh, segmented instead of pixel-based. So we designed a, uh, a series of segments, so kind of like a seven-segment display would uh, old if you look at old digital watches they have the seven segment it looks like a figure eight uh, we made our own version of, of something like that for this that that allows us to render the the, the numbers a lot better mm -hmm. um, and so if you design the the segments properly then you can have this really thin really flexible super low power display uh, and we all I always thought that uh, there could be a really cool product out there that mm -hmm. that used something like this uh, in, in kind of a fashion type object uh -huh. so so um, when was that when you were first thinking was, of the idea? Like Do you remember how, like, when you first? It was January in uh, 2009. Uh -huh. uh, we worked on a project with Bug Labs, and we came up with a concept to have a, a thin, flexible display on the side of their their bug la uh, their bug base unit. And uh, we designed a, a segmented font for that. And uh, my buddy Nick Zambetti, my, my partner Jerry O'Leary, the the co other co-founder, uh, we all worked together and we developed developed this font for that. Mm -hmm. And I always wanted to use that font. Um, so we, that kind of was the genesis of this, where I, it was in the back of my mind since uh, 2009, and then when the, um, I found this microcontroller from Epson that had everything I needed in it for a, a watch that also had an e-ink driver, um, I saw that press release and I kind of thought, all right, well, it's time to, to start working on this now. Uh -huh. And what made you, like, think watch, like, you know, watches aren't, like, in 2009, especially, like people weren't thinking of watches as like a cool thing. I think well, people were kind of thinking that watches were gonna, you know, kind of fade away. Yeah, um, the way that we got to watch was the the font needed to be in order for the font to work. It needed to be uh, fairly large. So in the, the one that we created was alphanumeric, and so I wanted to have so it needed to be about this big in order for the the font to work with the display. And I was just thinking through different things that we could use for this for, and I thought it would be really cool to do a word clock. So when it was off your wrist and, and on the table, uh, it would say, you know, like 1230 uh, in, in mm -hmm. letters. And then when you put on your wrist, then it would change. So that was where it came from. And then as we got into the constraints of the, of the project, we mm -hmm. found that it would be better to just focus on the time and, and just think right, about the, right. minim, like the most minimal expression of a watch. Right, uh, I think it works. And so you put it on Kickstarter yesterday? Yesterday. Yep. And uh, how much money have you raised on Kickstarter I so think far? Just over 130000 In how many hours would that be? Uh, we launched at 5 o'clock yesterday. So. And it's now yep. 109. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty incredible. Yeah. What made you decide to put the project on Kickstarter? Um, well, we, we've got minimum manufacturing volumes. I always. I, I designed it and worked on it because I wanted to see it made. And we've got minimum uh, volumes that we have to hit, so the best way that we found uh, to do it with where we're at is to, to launch it on Kickstarter and get uh -huh. backers. And did you expect it to, what did you expect when you Well, when you I mean, I hoped that it would, that it would uh, get funded soon, but I didn't expect it to, to be as quick as it is now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, so uh, the big innovations here, um, there's like a, a microcell battery that's very thin. Can you talk about that a little? Yeah, it's a. The company is called Thinergy, and they make a product called uh, a micro energy cell. And uh, what's really great about it is that a lot of conventional batteries will, after a few years, are not going to be very good anymore, and they won't hold a charge. And that would be bad for this because it's not replaceable, so uh -huh. you, um, you, your watch would would be dead. But the Thinergy uh, will last at least 15 years, maybe even more. Um, and it's it's a much more robust, reliable battery under flexing than uh, than thin mm -hmm. lithium polymer batteries. Right. Um, so we've we've actually built a, a rig where we uh, had this flexing for a thousand 
over a thousand times um, more than this all the way to flat uh, and, it, and it was still doing fine. This rig, tell me about this rig. This is back in Chicago this is where back you're in based. Chicago. It, uh, and what is the, the rig actually just goes like this Well, a it's not times. on the watch itself, but at the, we glue a battery to a piece of, uh, of stainless steel, a thinner piece, mm -hmm. and it just rolls it and then unrolls it and rolls it and unrolls it. Uh, just, and then I'll, I'll do that for a certain amount of time and then I'll, I'll test the battery, see if the battery's still performing the way. Uh -huh. And you actually built that thing, right? Yeah. What does your shop look like in Chicago? Uh, it's a, so I work, I work at IDEO, uh, and the, I work in the Chicago office of IDEO. Um, we've got uh, a nice workshop and a, a little electronics lab that um, I just took a, serv a servo off the shelf and connected to an Arduino board and built a little rig to, or actually I didn't, sorry. Uh, a colleague of mine, Garrett, uh -huh. um, who's working with us, uh, built the rig for us and did the Arduino thing, so I gotta get, give him credit for that. That's cool. Um, so uh, originally you said this was developed for Bug Labs um, and, and you guys are still working at IDEO. Yes. What Are they supportive of you having this side project? Yes, IDEO is uh, very supportive. They, they wanna see uh, people following their passions and uh, they wanna, keep people happy and, and if you if you're a designer you're always mm -hmm. coming up with with ideas and if if you weren't able to follow them then it would be frustrating yeah and they probably all want some of these watches <laughs> yeah well. there are a lot of backers at IDEO already uh-huh and mine turned black I think does that mean it's sorry mine turned black I think or was that the way it was yeah it, it flashes when it updates the time right so you, when you're looking at it it looks like it's just static but uh and then you're kind of surprised every time it changes to the uh to the next minute. So if you want to demonstrate it to somebody for the first time, you, you might have to wait 60 seconds. <laughs> but it's definitely very cool looking. Um, so there's a, a patent pending on this device? Yes. We've uh, we filed a design patent and a provisional uh, patent for a flexible uh, a watch of this nature. Mm -hmm. And I've heard a couple of people say it kind of reminds them of a slap bracelet. Yeah, Did you guys hear uh, that before? Yeah, I mean that's uh, that's something that it's it is very it's a similar width, uh, thickness as a slap bracelet, but uh, we didn't want to go for something that was kind of novelty like that. It's, right. it's more of a of a nicer object than that. Awesome. Well, um, it looks great and uh, super simple, um, minimal product that uh, is is definitely getting a lot of uh, attention and excitement here at CES. Um, so thanks for, so much for coming on to talk about it. Okay. And uh, one thing that I wanted a bunch of people on the Kickstarter said that. Nobody, uh, nobody actually shows the thinness of it, so I wanted to do that. Take this time on the camera. Um, so it is thin. That's, that's the the thickness of the the watch itself. So. All right, great. Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you.